All right, welcome to lab number two, also another episode on thoracic extension. I'm Dr. Teresa Larson, and I'm here with Paul Krumnacher, CEO of Bright Spear. We are actually in his office right now. Paul and I actually work together in the Marine Corps, and I'm going to help him out with some thoracic extension. Paul works a lot out in the field and a lot at his desk. So this is something that you can do with a buddy. So Paul, go ahead and lay on your stomach. Okay, Paul is going to get in a cobra, about like he's ready to do a cobra position in yoga. And what I'm going to do as his super friend is I'm going to have my fingers pointing away, palms on either side of his spine, just below, I'm going to start just below the scapula bones, his wing bones. And I'm going to say, go, go ahead and push up for me into a quarter cobra. I'm going to hold it there. I can give him a couple little pushes and then go on down. Okay, and come back up. Give him a couple little pushes and come on down. Now I'm going to have him do this about five to ten times. Then I'm going to move up to the middle of his scap and I'm going to have him do the same thing. Go ahead and push up and go on down. Okay, go ahead and push up and come on down. Again, giving him a little bit of an oscillation as he goes to the top. Now what I'm going to do, slick floors, floors there, Paul. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put my hands near the top of his scapula, not on the neck though, and I'm going to have him do the same thing. Go ahead and go push up. Good. Slight oscillation. And come on down. Again, push up. And come on down. Good. Now, again, five to ten times. There's three different locations. Top of the scapula, middle of the scapula, below the scapula. The key here is that you don't put all of your body weight into the person because they're not going to be able to push up. Um, maybe they will, but the point is, is just to put enough pressure that you're getting a little bit of a dorsal to, and dorsal to ventral glide, so back to front glide of the thoracic spine, which will ultimately help with your American kettlebell swings, overhead snatch, any kind of overhead position with your arms so you can keep your, your ribs down and thoracic spine in alignment for more safe, better performing movements. Thank you.